Steph Curry, now a household name in the NBA, he had a lot of growing to do. Curry, who wore number 20 his teenage year, said he would have worn number 30 in high school, just like his dad, but the jersey was too big. Today, he fits into his Warriors uniform just fine, and he spent his day off Monday being recognized for the perfect fit he provided to both his high school and college basketball programs. On SportsCenter AM, we're back with Serena Morales, but that is the case with Robin Lopez and his history with mascots. Well, he was up to his old tricks yesterday. This time, though, a little different result. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, Robin Lopez might be playing for a new team this season, but that doesn't mean that he's changed his stance on mascots. Uh, but the mascots, they have gotten a small victory on Tuesday mm. after Stuff, the Orlando mascot, pulled a fast one on Lopez. Here's our top prank. Uh, that at the game, but we thought we should show that. Oh, man. Mirasan <laughs> was such a media darling. I remember one of his commercials, I think it was for Snickers, where he's like, if you're not going anywhere for a while, and he's trying to make an, a backwards half-court shot. And he's like, just make one for the kids. And he just keeps missing over and over again. I've been looking for that commercial for forever. Anyway, all right. send that to Randy. Please, please do, if you can find it. <laughs> all right, let's go over Mirasan, who's listed at 7'7", to a guy who played in D.C. as a visitor last night, Isaiah Thomas, 5'9". IT, tied for being the shortest player in the league, but the Celtics point guard, he continues to prove size doesn't matter. And Kyle Rudolph with us this morning on SportsCenter AM. And when we heard you were going to be here this morning, we, we decided to have a, a little welcome gift for you, um, being that we are a morning show. And I know that there is a, there's a little bit of a story when it comes mm -hmm. to donuts, so maybe wait till after the segment to have one. But we'll, we'll put those out for you. Uh, but there's, a, there's another meaning nice behind the donuts, right? Yeah, you want to take us through uh, the donut club that you're part of? <laughs> I would be happy to, but I have no <laughs> idea. Yes. And he actually threw his donut away after. Whoa. We found it. Don't <laughs> worry. Yeah, yeah. So that, that may be your answer, that we have kicked someone out of the okay. donut club, and he's no longer Rules. around. Rule breaker right there. Yeah. Uh, let, let's get more serious here and, and talk about, sounds like that's a no, little no, that's bit. that's not serious. That's some <laughs> adversity that you had to deal with. A lot of optimism as you look forward to, to next year. Assuming all of the rehab and everything goes according to plan, who, who would you prefer to be catching passes from next season. Oh, I don't have a problem. It's in Jordan's. honor of her, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. So she allows it to happen being that it's her name. You know, aside from uh, being known for your Jordans now, you know, most people know you for playing for the Vikings, but you also uh, went pro recently. You want to talk about that? Yeah, you know, it was uh, I'm like, ah, he didn't count. <laughs> You're allowed a donut for that. Yeah, Thank there's you. plenty Speaking of donuts. Of that, yeah, yeah. I know. I feel bad that we didn't get your favorite kind, but um, oh no, these are always work. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're going to go yeah, oh, yeah, shout absolutely. out on some donuts. But absolutely. actually, Kyle Rudolph, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Favorite pair of Jays? <laughs> you got a favorite pair? January, good to have Seth bracket. Greenberg with us. <laughs> it's just blown up. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> just one, Three regions are already gone. <laughs> it's not good. The way this season's looked so far, you know, it felt like you can count on Nova. And then Kansas and Kentucky, all three losing. Of these three teams, in January, which team should be concerned right now? Baylor or Gonzaga? I have Gonzaga. Look, Gonzaga's going to run the table. Yeah. All right, so if they can run the table, they've got the So Michigan State with the loss there. Tom Izzo obviously frustrated with some of the criticism that he and his team are receiving. We know you like the, we, you know, you like the it snap. Clean. It was a clean snap. Uh, what did you think about his comments, though, afterwards? I totally uh, believe in it and yeah. we're seeing from Cal as well as Coach Izzo. Seth's going to be back during the 9 a.m. hour. Seth, you want to do this highlight with me considering you're on this UConn uh, women's boat with me if they oh, don't make the Final Four? I mean, boat? No, yeah. you guys are watching. I don't work for <laughs> hey, The first <laughs> half, they were only at 20. I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> no control 